Hey folks, Chris here, the Kentucky Woodsman. You know, a lot of us, or most everyone, I think, knows that if we ever find ourselves in a survival situation, we need fire. Have you ever really sat and thought about why you need fire, though? I can think of several different reasons. Warmth. Now, right now, maybe not for one. I'm in the uh, northern part of the south, and it's pretty warm here right now. So maybe I don't need it for warmth tonight. But you never know what situation you're going to be in that you need warmth. You can use a fire to dry clothes that are wet. You can use it to heat water to, to a boil so that you can drink it, questionable water. You can use it to cook food. Basically, we can use it to make anything that we're going to take into our body safe to eat or drink. It provides light. And this is especially so, it provides a signal. If I was lost out here right now, you can see this fire from a long way around from where I'm at right now. I'm in the trees, but even, even in the dark of the night, they can see a fire glowing through the trees. It provides safety and security from four-legged predators. Most four-legged animals, most predators will not come near a fire or not come into the range of a fire. So it provides protection in that way. Have you ever truly sat and thought about the mental value of a fire, though? The mental value. We know we're supposed to sit down and wait out our rescue if we're lost in the woods or hurt in any way. We know we're supposed to sit out and wait. But that sitting out and waiting can be the longest, most intense time of your life. But a fire... It's an instant friend. It gives you something to do. It gives you a purpose. From the very beginning of collecting your tinder to gathering your kindling to continuously feeding fuel to this fire, it's a friend. It gives you something to live for. Keeping this fire going so that you may survive and go back to your family and friends. A fire will help you keep the woolly buggers away. Yeah, I said woolly buggers. And for you guys that's not from the South, if you don't know what a woolly bugger is, that's kind of the, the Bigfoots and the Sasquatches and the ghosts and the goblins and the werewolves. That's a woolly bugger. And you know, the reason I say that is this. If you're lost in the woods, your mind is very powerful. And it will start hearing things and seeing things and imagining things that aren't really there. And this fire will help your mental state to keep you safe, it'll keep you calm. I mean, I'm sitting here right now and the fire is a very, has a very calming effect. That's the importance of a fire. Like I said, for heat, for light, for cooking food or boiling water, for providing signal to those that may be looking for us. But the big thing is the mental aspect. It gives you a reason for living. And sometimes that may be all you need to make it through a survival situation. I don't pretend to be an expert in building fires. I want to be an expert, but I do know the importance of one. And I know what it would do for me if I was lost in these woods tonight. 
So the next time you build a campfire, in the security of your campsite, keep these things in mind. Just what does that fire provide for you? In my honest opinion, the mental aspect is every bit as important as the physical aspect. Folks, I want to thank you for watching my video. I hope you've got something out of it. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I just enjoy being outside. Have a good evening, everyone. Until next time, we'll see you down the trail.